21 minutes after 8, you're listening to UJFM Breakfast on UJFM 95.4. This is what we call the wind down hour, taking things easy in this hour. Kirex on this one with Imadlana Yoktrina. And before that, I played you the same man, Kirex, with the laundry day fresh. And the reason why we play so much of Kirex's music is because, as mentioned a bit earlier on, this morning on UJFM Breakfast, we are hanging out with undoubtedly one of the most influential artists of our time. Kirex live on UJFM Breakfast Mahofi. What's up, my G? Those are very kind words, brother. I'm telling it like it is, man. Yeah, no, I appreciate that, man. We're just trying to, you know, push the boundary and Eater. take the same music to the world. And that's what you've been doing, my dude. You know what? Right now, I want us to focus on your journey. The main reason why you're here as far as to introduce your new track, Mfazi Wepepa, to the UJF and Breakfast listener, we'll do that a bit later on. You know, in fact, just before we say goodbye to you, and then we'll talk about the track, man. But now let's talk about your journey. Mfana wako Middlebank. Yeah. Mpumalanga. We are talking about a farming place. Yeah. You know, it, it's an industrial place. Yeah. Did you ever think you'd be at this point in your career? Uh, to be honest, no. No? Definitely not. Uh, I actually thought I'd be playing professional football by now, you know? Okay. Somewhere in like the UK. For like my favorite team or whatever. But yeah, that's a story for another day. No, no, we have to talk about this football story. This is the first time I hear of this. So you yeah. used to play football? Yeah, I mean, I grew up obviously as a kid aspiring to be like my favorite players, players that I idolized, you know, Abo Pele, Abo Maradona. Yeah, Abo yeah, yeah. Abo Ronaldo from Brazil and, sure, so, and sure. so forth. So obviously I played soccer, but due to now relocating so many times, you know, mm -hmm. like I think I changed schools about seven times throughout wow. my schooling career. Okay. So, yeah, we constantly move from area to area. So mm -hmm. eventually, I think when I was in grade nine, I moved from the east, from Boxwood High to Oh, the south of I Jogo see. To yeah, Jogo yeah. Street, which is now diversity high. Okay. So when I got there, they didn't offer soccer. Oh, and I see. Really yeah. Soccer. And the reason why you changed school so many times was it because you were a problem child? Uh, nah, I mean, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it had to do with my parents' work. So. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. I see. Yeah, but dude, you know what? Uh, there's a question on a lot of people's mind right now. And you've addressed this issue before, you know, about why you left Cash Time. You know, we saw it trending as well. But then how's life after Cash Time for you? Look, man, obviously we've dived into a new business venture, you know. I think yeah. Cash Time for me was, was a proper learning curve, you know. I learned mm -hmm. everything that I felt I could learn in the time that I was there. Yeah. From, obviously, guys who, had way more, who have way more experience and more knowledge of the game than I do. Mm -hmm. So, obviously... This stage of my life is where I'm applying everything that I've learned. Yeah. Because now, obviously, we've started a company together with Questa called Rep Life. Oh, yes. And yes. Obviously, that leads us to sort of be artists at the same time, but mm -hmm. uh, serve as people who are providing a platform to, to launch other artists who oh, aspire to. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because, I mean, I remember uh, when you came to our attention uh, some time back, uh, together with the likes of Smashes, this was, uh, was it Cash Time Fam? Yeah, yeah. Cash Time Fam. Yeah, yeah. I mean, somebody somebody put you on as well, you yeah, know? totally. Did you maybe feel like, ish, man, you know what, you have been somewhat disloyal? By leaving. By leaving, yeah. Disloyal? No, because, I mean, I felt like my stay over there, I definitely, like, done more than enough to, sure. to repay them for... Mm -hmm. the opportunity that they've granted me but it no longer it doesn't end when i walk out the door because obviously mm -hmm. what i'm still to achieve like beyond that point is it's still something they can claim credit for yeah it's a, they they planted the seed you know no fantastic i like that you're saying that but you i'm guessing you guys are are you cool though yeah, yeah, yeah. okay because we had um the hood man here uh my e sometime last week maybe mm -hmm. And, you know, he looked touched and he sounded touched by the fact that, you know, you guys have left. In fact, you know what, let me take you back to that time and then we'll continue with the new track. I'm Fuzzy Whip I did mention you have to hear this track. It's fantastic. When we talk about pioneering 
in the industry. Kid X is definitely one of those rappers. In fact, one of those musicians, but we'll get into that a bit later on. But I want you to listen to this, to what the Hood Man had to say about you guys leaving Cash Time. E, this didn't sit right with you. Yeah. You know, uh, would you say it was because of something that you guys have done as management or it was all on them? Me, I would blame it all on them. Including yourself? Yeah, I think these times that where I had to like really make a decision and take it like a firm um, uh, uh, like a, a firm let me say because by then I'm told that for me and I'm to be strong when it comes to all the directors of the company which is, this is what I stand for and I think this is wrong all right there you have it that is my e who was here last week do check out the full interview it's on youtube but the reason why we played the clip is just to give you know kid eggs an impression that here's somebody who's part of management there and he's admitting that they are the ones who were in the wrong how do you feel about that yeah man i think he, he spoke his truth you know sure so i respect that yeah shout out to easy and I said the same thing as well, you know, that it takes uh, a very special man to come out and admit that, hey, we are the ones who are in the wrong. But hey, that's the past. Now we are focusing on the future. I did mention there's a new jam from Kid X that we are going to blaze for you. Kid X is in studio. Any question that you want me to ask on your behalf, do hit us up on Twitter at you, Jeff and Breakfast. Facebook as well, you, Jeff and Breakfast. And of course, remember to use that magical hashtag, hashtag you, Jeff and Breakfast. And since he's in studio and we we are about to get into our classic jam coin toss. He's going to help us out. He's going to be our referee. That's coming up in a bit. We'll also get into your news, sports, and traffic. UJFM is not UJFM intellectual swag. Yeah, man, it's that time of the morning where we have to get into our classic jam coin toss. And <laughs> that is Kid X. By the way, if somebody doesn't know your real name, what's your real name? Uh, my birth name is Bongi Nkosi Mashan. Oh, so yeah, Bongi Nkosi Mashan. But you were like, you know what, I'm looking for a cool name, so I'm going to call myself Kid X. Do you feel yeah. that uh, you might get to a point where you drop the kid and you just uh, call yourself X? I actually thought about it. Yeah. Uh, I think the magic is actually in the kid. Like, for, for the process of making music, you really need sure. to tap into just your childlike or Okay. Or your kid like way of thinking. So I like that. I might, yeah. I might actually keep it. All right, because that's where creativity lies. You know, as yeah. kids, we are uber creative. Yeah. All right, so we'll continue with our chat with Kid X in a bit. It's time for us to get into our classic jam coin toss. The last time we didn't do this, we got your complaints. So we decided that even when we have guests, we are going to include them in our coin toss. And this morning is between B and Pimel, on Yeah. Uh, so, Kirex, you can grab that coin, my G. So, this is like a boxing match, ne? Yeah. Uh, so, that's B right there. And the guy who's taking the video, his name is Pimelo. So, you have to introduce them. She's the reigning champion. I lost yesterday, so that's why it's between the two. So, you have to introduce the homie first. You know, like a boxing commentator. You know, you have to say, you know, coming to you yeah. on the right side. Yeah. This is Pimelo. <laughs> and then... There'll be an applause somewhere, you know, you'll hear an applause. Yeah. And then after that, you'll introduce the reigning champion. And then we'll introduce the songs that are going against each other. Classic jams. And this morning, it's classic house jams. So whoever wins, we play their song. So it's going to be a best of three. Songs, these, are songs. these are house songs. Okay, let's yeah. do this. Ne? Yeah. If B wins our coin toss this morning, this is what you're going to hear. Not too bad. Ooh. Not bad at all. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, and if Pims wins our coin toss this morning, this is what you're going to hear. Thank you, boy. <laughs> Thank you, boy. Thank you, boy. Alright, so best of three, what I require from you is to okay. hit the coin against the table. I get a feeling you used to play with me back in the days. Yeah, yeah well, we, can, we can do it like that as well. So best of three, man. Eh? They haven't picked sides. Okay, they have to pick sides. I will yeah. take um, heads. All right, he's going with what? Heads. Heads, and then obviously Pimelo is tails. Yeah. Eight, uh, but you have to introduce the guys, though. 
weighing in at approximately 180 <laughs> kilograms, <laughs> could be pushing it in a green holy shirt with a Nikon camera in his hand, oh. with, with dress just hanging on the side of his face. Oh, we've got Pimelo and he's tails. My whole feet. Oh, I like that. Oh, I love it. Yes, yes. <laughs> Weighing in at an amount I will not disclose because she is female. <laughs> With a ring finger on a middle finger, which could mean anything. Yes. Can't get it away from the mouse, just laughing away. Oh! We've got B and she is your head. Mahofi! Mahofi! We Best might just three. hire Kid X, eh? Hey? Actually. Yes, we three. Good luck, y'all. Bing, 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 bing! Alright, best of three. Yeah. Alright, let's get it. Oh, got heads. Heads, heads first meaning up. bees in the lead. Bee, yeah. We've got tails. Okay, oh. sudden death, huh. Baba. It's there. The big one. Uh huh. Oh. Thank you very much. Can you guess? Much. Can you guess? Yeah, that's a heads. That's a heads right there. So shout out to B. Right. Shout out to B. She walks home with the. But the song that we about to play next, or maybe not walk home, but yeah. Oh, okay, well, she's still here. Yeah. Still our reigning champion, Bulele Polisa, Mahofi. Can't touch this. Our classy gem for this morning, we're still hanging out with Kid X. We are going to continue our chat. And remember, we are introducing you as a huge FM breakfast listener to their new Kid X heat. You have to hear the song that's coming up. Don't our classic gem for this morning, because B won our classic gem coin toss. And it seems like this is now a thing. Whenever we have guests in studio and they are the referees, B always wins. We must start bidding these guests. I can't help that I might be a favorite. Not might probably, just... nah. Mm. By the way, B and Kirex went to the same school. Can you believe it? Actually. So, you know, it's a nice connect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and what again, Boxberg High. Boxberg High Boxberg School. High. Yeah. Shout out to Boxberg High if they're listening. Yeah, or anyone from there. <laughs> oh, okay. I've heard things about that school. Things I can't mention on radio. B knows what I'm talking about. Mm. Mm. Shout out to the East, man. <laughs> Our classic gem this morning, Julie McKnight. This one is called Home, the Knee Deep Remix. So what do you think about our classic gem this morning? Uh, this one is coming from Nandi Dumaku. This says, powerful music this morning. Thank you, Bulele Purisa. Sam Kuno says, I can't believe that Pimelo lost once again. Yeah, no. Uh, that, that's another thing that seems to be a thing nowadays, Pimelo losing. But it's all good. <laughs> Hanging out with Kirex this morning. Any question that you want me to ask on your behalf, do hit us up. Witumelo Makocha, good morning. Witumelo is asking about your favorite rapper right now. Who's your favorite rapper? Well, let's say apart from yourself, because I know how rappers are. You're probably going to say, yeah, man, me, myself, man. Apart from yourself, who's your favorite rapper? Apart from everyone in rap life. I okay. Need to, I need to tell you about just the powerhouse that, that rap life is. Like, oh, yeah? We're not called rap life for... For the sake of branding or whatever, it's, sure. it's, it's like a real thing. But apart from the camp, uh, I'd say right now my favorite rapper is Nasty C. Nasty, ne? Yeah. Yeah, no, the homie is doing well. Easier. But then rap life. Let's talk about some of the artists that you have there. Yeah, uh, rap life is basically as things stand. Top of 2017. Mm -hmm. It's myself. We've got Quest out there. We've got TLT. Oh, okay. We've got a beat maker slash artist called Makwa. All right. And it's pretty serious, man. Like, I can't stress it enough. Um, we dropped four singles uh, on the 24th of January, you know. All the artists basically were launching for the year. We mm -hmm. just put out the sound. And, I mean, bro, I can't stress it enough. Like, the song you're about to play from me yeah. is obviously one of the four that, that we put out. But the videos have been shot. Actually, we, we just shot, like, Umfazwe uh, Pepper is all. We're finishing it today. Okay. Uh, so... They drop in later this month and I can't stress just how people just need to catch up with the wave because for 2017 the sound is definitely moving towards like what is mm -hmm. like authentically South African in terms of I like of that yeah, tra yeah. traditionally, you know, that's why we, we we're tapping into your Sophia influences, mm -hmm. your your Maskandi influences because yeah. I mean that 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 is the sound of hip hop in twenty seventeen. And that's why a bit earlier on I said this is somebody who is somewhat pioneering because I mean we know what Karakara did for South African hip hop, you know. And I always say there's always an agenda of some sort, you know. So if you're not going to keep true to the times, you're going to be left behind. And it seems like Kidex is doing well in terms of 
reinventing himself. You know, I saw a tweet uh, sometime yesterday. Uh, in fact, it was a series of tweets. You know, people talking about how you don't sound like you used to sound. I mean, how, how, how do you take that? I love that. I love the sound of that. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Um, for me, you know what? Music is, is always something that is sort of a record of where I am in my life. At the sure. Time, you know? I mean, two years ago when I put out the mixtape or or three years ago when I did Karakara, I was at a different stage in my life, you know? And sure. 2017, I'm totally a different guy. And that's mm -hmm. why even the stories that I'm telling, well, I mean, they're still my stories, but yeah. in the way that I'm telling them in, I've, I've sort of tried to adjust to, to the times, but also be authentically me, you know? Yeah. To tell yeah. it in a very creative way that... That is unorthodox and out the box and Oof. no one else would be Sure, to do. we like that. If something is unconventional, we are all for it. And that's also because we are known as the most unconventional breakfast show. Now, I just came across the tweet I'm talking about. So, somebody tweeted Kid X saying, I miss the old Kid X, the yeah. one who did wonders with the three quarter pays and Cash Time Life. And then Kid X responded, you are probably crying over your ex too. Things yeah. change, my brother. 2017 <laughs> is the year of the wave. Yeah. Yeah. You like being yeah. spicy sometimes, huh? Yeah, sometimes you gotta be. I figured to the, <laughs> to the right spice. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta. But I mean, essentially what I'm saying, dog, like if you feel like you miss the old Kid X, then it's well documented. You can go Why back. don't you go back? You can go back. I like that. And yeah. immerse yourself in that old Kid X and then come back and meet the new guy who is yeah, existing in now because the main thing for me. It's just being in the moment. Like if, oh, if if I'm gonna be stuck in trying to recreate everything that I've done in the past, then I mean you're not going anywhere. I'm not gonna break through the ceiling. Exactly. Like I said, you always need to reinvent yourself if you're serious about the music business. Because I think sometimes people forget about the business element of it. You know, they just focus on the music, but you have to focus on your artistry and the business as well. All right, my dude, let's talk about Mfazi Wepe. How did this come along? In Faz Red Pepper, actually, uh, this record was made, I think, sometime last year, probably like July, August. Okay. And what was happening was, I'd been working on my album and then I took a break for a bit. Mm. So, me and Yanga were in the studio. Sure. I think he'd be he'd taken a break from what he was working on as well. So yeah. We were pretty much banging out, like, I guess, we were talking about seven, eight songs, you know, mm -hmm. at the time. Uh, but no one really planned to do anything with the song. So it was yeah. either going to be put out on like a joint EP from him and me or... Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. No plan. So obviously, when I started assembling, like nearing the stages where I'm really trying to get the album like structured and built the way I want it to be. Yeah. So that, that felt like a piece that w was a part of the story that I needed to tell, you know? So, mm -hmm. I mean, I took it out of that archive and had to add you know a couple more touches we brought Mashaya on uh he he brought how do you say that guy's name though Mashaya Bute yeah oh that's yeah, it I, I think the click the, the clicking yeah I, I always struggle yeah. with that guy's yeah. name yeah. specifically we will leave it at Mashaya yeah yeah nah. so I mean we had to bring him on board and he brought like a crazy flavor man that, yeah that I feel we couldn't get from anyone else other than him you know mm -hmm. and for me I feel like the collab is so it's very well rounded. I don't feel like, like the role you have Mashaya playing on that song is, is very unorthodox. You know, mm -hmm. he's announcing the song, so that there's a snippet at the start. Of, actually, let me not let's play, play the song, let's man. Play the song. Let, let's get into it. Here it is for the first time on UJFM. For the first time on UJFM breakfast, Mfazi Wepepa. <laughs> I might use that as my turn. Yeah. Like going forward. Nice. On every song. Okay. Oh, well, not every song. Specific song. Why you trying to kill my soul? Why you bring me to my own friends? Why you bring me more drama? 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 
Wow, man, I'm having a moment right now. I don't know why, but I am feeling all kinds of emo right now. You'll have to forgive me, man. Wow. You know, when we talk about pioneers in the game, we talk about musicians like Kid X. We talk about artists like Kid X. You know, there are people who are just about, you know, putting out what's currently hot and they don't focus on the future. And I mean, I listen to that sound and I'm thinking to myself, if you were going to play this to an American or somebody from Britain or any part of the world, they will ask themselves, but you know, the sound, where does it come from? And of course, the answer would be, it comes from Mzansi. Wow. I had some Maskandi in there, man. Hey, you know, we are all about creativity and Kid X did mention that he is, you know, an unorthodox rapper. By the way, uh, on your Twitter profile, that's what it says as yeah. well. But then you break it down. You're like, unorthodox. Yeah. Un Please explain this to me. Unorthodox. Well, the author is as in a writer. Is there a writer? Yeah. yeah. Un Prior to, actually, this album is actually the first time I've actually gone back to writing my wow. lyrics down on paper. Oh, okay. Since, since 2009. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and and obviously that is due to, I guess, my mind. Being oh, yeah. It's not with like a thousand verses and, yeah. and me no longer being able to deal with that. So I had to go back to like, the process of writing. Yeah, it's yeah a... that's where that stems from. All right, and the track that we played, uh, it's called Fuzzy Wepepa. Uh, can somebody download this somewhere? Fuzzy Wepepa is definitely, uh, it's going live on all platforms, all mm -hmm. digital platforms, I think this coming Friday. Yeah, uh, it's as of now, you can get it on Slick Arm if it's available there for free downloads, so get it while it's hot because we take it down as soon as the other links come up. Okay, no, that's great. Tip it up with Yanga and Mashaya. Uh, but you have to tell me about the inspiration behind the song, my dude. Hey, who I'm did what to you, man? Is there a chick? Uh, is there a chick who broke your heart, man? Yeah, 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 yeah definitely, dog. Uh, obviously, we go we go through things, you know. To I guess to grow up and learn and, and actually see life, you have to go through. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the struggles. So true. I true. mean, heartbreak is one of them. So this is my interpretation of like just. Well, yeah. This, this is my mood going into Valentine's. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. We, we, we cannot tell so, one side of the story and make it seem like, you know. I get you, man. We have to tell the other side of the story as well. We've all been heartbroken, man. And I guess that's why I got a bit emo listening to that song. Yeah. I, and for one second, I was dabbing, and then I started listening to the lyrics. I'm like, nah, man. It's freaking out. Kid X, my dude. No, yeah. man, don't do this, man. Hey, we gotta address it. We gotta talk about it. Yeah, it's a, but shout out to you, man. You know, we appreciate artists who open themselves to the consumer yes, because sir. it means that I can relate to you more. And that's why I got, you know, emo listening to that song. And I like the fact that you said you have gone back to writing, yeah. you know, on, on paper. That's great, yeah. my dude, you know. Yeah. And that's why I said, you know, this guy is an artist. You know, yeah. he's a musician. You know, nowadays you can say... Uh, such things about a lot of people in the game. I'm not going to mention any names. My dude, let's focus on the future. Where to from Kid X? We know, you know what? Yo, your journey is actually quite interesting, you know? From the days of Cash Time fam, you know, being with Cash Time and then now Rap Life. Yes, sir. Where to for you? 2017, you can expect my debut album, mm -hmm. Thank the King, that's the name of the project, uh, dropping in the first quarter. Okay. So you can expect that. Uh, I might drop a couple more projects this year. I don't wanna. I don't wanna let the you know the cat out there. Okay. Yet, but, but we've been waiting for that album, G. Yeah, eh? yeah. No, it's gonna be worth the wait. Uh, All right. Yeah. But look out for that. Then uh, the video for the current single Fuzzle Pepper should be dropping mm -hmm. in the next two or three weeks. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And more singles leading up to obviously the drop. But yeah, the yeah, drop yeah. is very soon, obviously in the first quarter of the year. So mm -hmm. yeah, just uh I'm a hundred rand, 150 actually. Yeah. 150? Just okay. be safe, you know. <laughs> you know the oh, inflation right. ain't looking too good, the rand ain't looking too good. Sure. So uh bigger little because the album's coming real soon and I wanna encourage people just 
to start buying music again. Like, yeah, the yeah, start no, true. Of, you know, wanting a friend who downloaded it. Mm-hmm. And decide for yourself, my dude. Yeah. Hey, no, we're tired of promo Twitter. Do you still have trust issues? I've got crazy trust issues, bro. I'm asking that because you tweeted on the 4th of Feb. You know, this is what you said, and I'm quoting yeah. here. It's a real thing, kids. Trust nobody. Trust nobody, kids. That's 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 the most honest thing I can, I can tell you right now. Anybody specific that you're referring to? Uh, no. No? No one specific. Okay. Yeah. All right. My dude, you know what? Let's end this off on a high. You know, yeah. um, whenever we have uh, rappers here, especially guys who are doing wonders in the game, you know, we, we test whether they, they can still spit, you know, yeah. outside of the beat. So let me kill the background yeah, do it, music. Should we do this a cappella or should I give you a beat? Let's do a cappella. Let's, let, let's do this a cappella, man. It's going to be raw. So here it is, Kid X, live on UJFM Breakfast. If you haven't had him spit for some time, well, you are lucky this morning. You are listening to the most unconventional breakfast show on the airwaves, and he is about to bless you with some buzz. Whenever you're ready, my dude, let's do this. All right, check us out. Mr. All-Time Favorite Back, niggas thought I'd fade the black. But my money talk flowed, it's only right I'm paid to rap. If only I'd get paid to breathe, like, ah, I just made a rap. Selling and you get feeling, niggas on to selling and thing act. I'm trying to be the greatest ever that did it with way less effort. In a game of snakes and ladder, you get bitten, you plan for second. You study my throw, but diced is the way a method. I'm back in my throne, find the crystal exactly where I left it. And zoom, I call, I feel like I died and resurrected. I guess I'm the chosen one if God had to be selective. Now, shoddy one, lick a shot, then run from a barrel. So me starting in my 88 king sample apparel. That shit, there's nothing to F with. I'm trying to Weird and see my eyes no more, I've had enough. Blind to the fact that every single L builds your character. Gotta keep reminding myself that this here's a marathon. If you came with a pellet gun and got hit, then you had it coming. Oh, 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 man, come on. You just have breakfast, my whole feet. Yeah. I need something to break, man. <laughs> I need to break something. Come on, there's something I have to I'm break, man. New music real soon. Oh break, my man. goodness, man. Oh man, it's fine. I'll do this to this paper, man. I'll do this to this paper. You know it's going in when your facial expression changes. You see my facial expression? Wow, thank you, man. Shout out, shout out. We, we, we appreciate that, man. You know, all the best with your future endeavors. Thank you, man. We are looking forward to new singles that are coming out. We're looking forward to the album. Yes, sir. I'm excited, man. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you guys having me. UJFM, we out here. Appreciate hey, On Twitter, quickly. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You know how it goes. Twitter, KidXSA. That's one word. Same thing on Instagram, KidXSA. Uh, on Facebook, we've got a page out there, KidX88 King. Go out there mm-hmm. and like that. Every information about what's coming in 2017 will be on those platforms. Shout out. Hey, Tara, we are out of here. Have yourself a fantastic day. Yeah.